Uh, yo, Internet, Zeal here, donning um, my new incredibly fashionable headset. Um, I've been playing around with some augmented reality stuff, and I've sort of thrown together this um, augmented reality headset. I'm using VDMX and um, Quartz Composer and um, AR Toolkit. So, although it looks ridiculous, what I've got here is a two way mirror, um, a little LCD screen, and a camera. Um, so, the camera is sending video through this into the computer um, where the video is being processed video is then being sent back out to this screen which is reflected in this mirror so I can focus out in front of me and see fine or I can focus um, here at this screen and I get the processed image and combining that with AR toolkit means we can get some um, augmented reality going. So this is really just a proof of concept at the moment. I'm using Vade's um, model loader in Quartz Composer. Um, I tried to get this to run as a VDMX plugin, but I've had some difficulty. So at the moment I've got a bit of a convoluted system. I'm taking the video from the camera, sending it into VDMX, siphoning that into Quartz Composer, where um, all the augmented reality stuff's happening. Then I'm siphoning it back into VDMX where I can add some effects. So I've got the Go to 10 targeting um, plugin there just to sort of add some fun. So as you can see, here's the uh, VDMX setup. This layer here is my little camera, and that's then being sent out to Quartz Composer. Here's the Quartz Composer patch, so this is Siphon coming in, splits out to all these different places. Here's the Marker Detector plugin from the AR Toolkit. Um, one thing I did find is when you use just the AR Marker Toolkit plugin, it doesn't correct the coordinates correctly, so if I am moving this around, um, the model doesn't move around in relation to it, it's a bit wonky, so I discovered someone had put this together, this little AR Toolkit coordinate correction, which fixes it all up and makes it sort of lock in a bit better. Yeah, a little dude down there. Um, yep, so it comes in here, in this macro I have Vade's model importer, and that gets blended with the original image, and then spat back out Siphon, where it comes back into VDMX, over somewhere, here, comes in here, all this stuff happens to it, oh, the other thing, what I've got to do is mirror the image, because if you don't mirror the image, um, it seems backwards. But yeah, this is where I'm at. I think the next step is to um, move this into um, processing. There's a good little tutorial I saw on Creative Applications, a really cool blog, um, that goes through getting augmented reality running with multiple markers in um, in processing so that might be the next step the other next the other next step is I'm going to oh, I got these off of eBay they're my view video goggles so they might be a little more, little sleeker a little more sleeker than a uh, little more sleek than this contraption and throw the camera on top. Um, yeah, these were about 80 bucks. The one problem with um, all the video goggles out there at the moment 
is the field of view is pretty crap. It's like looking at it's like looking at sort of a five inch screen from about a foot away, I suppose. I don't know why I'm talking in foot feet and inches. Get with the metric system already. The overall goal for this is to um, set up these markers in a space so you can walk around and explore the space and to create some you know 3D geometry that will cover up the markers completely so at the moment what I really want to do is look at my bedroom wall and turn my entire wall into a spaceport or something. Alrighty, stay tuned, more stuff coming, more ridiculous headsets, more fun stuff, thanks for watching.